Jason Nolf versus Bubba Jenkins. Another match where I didn't think I'd ever see in my lifetime, but hey, it's 2020, so what the heck? This match is going down on Rockfin on October 20th, and if you haven't heard it already, I mean, there are some incredible matches going down over the next month, month and a half, and I'm sure it's going to continue into the end of the year now that it's officially, I mean, technically, it's, it's wrestling season. So with Jason Nolf and Bubba Jenkins, this match was announced on Twitter by the man himself, Kale Sanderson. He put out the tweet. Uh, first, he teased it the day before, but then he put out the tweet with this poster, with these two going at it live on Rockland, similar to their Nittany Lion Wrestling Club event where there was a, a many many cards this event will be going down on october 20th now nolf the multiple time ncw champion has had his fair share of a great summer considering the fact that he defeated jordan oliver at rumble on the rooftop then he defeated david mcfadden at the nittany lion wrestling club event he's had some great freestyle success recently while others haven't even been able to get on the mat to compete so this is he's just really showing it off like his freestyle talent to the rest of the world Unfortunately, over the past year, couple years, even you want to go back to college, his one big downfall has been Imar. So I think with these with extra competition, that's going to be great for him. As far as Bubba Jenkins, he's somebody who's been in the MMA world over the for his career after college because if you don't know he is somebody who actually has a lot of bad blood with Penn State he was at Penn State ended up asked to leave the team essentially by Kale Sanderson when Kale ended up taking over Penn State Jenkins and Kale just really but butted heads this is seen a lot in the flow wrestling we are documentary which I thought was just phenomenal but anyways as we get into there's a lot of bad blood between these two so it's super cool that we're going to see Nolf and Jenkins go head to head now maybe Jenkins it would have been a better match with David Taylor considering there's even more bad blood there since Jenkins ended up beating David Taylor in the NCAA finals or even maybe you wanted to see him go against Kale Sanderson and as we see in this quote back from 2018 Jenkins actually wanted to fight Kale Sanderson in the cage he said if you ask me this question who had won a fight outside of MMA a cup or outside of like the MMA world a couple years ago I'd say Kale Sanderson due to all the history that we had and it but it'd be difficult for me because of his wrestling ability now he he said actually the tides have kind of settled with him and Kale but more recently quote I would now say Frank Molinaro would be the person I would love to get in the cage with I never liked him as a teammate or as an opponent he's just not a good person which is some crazy things to say. I mean, maybe not for Bubba Jenkins. He's kind of the trash talker, the kind of the loud mouth. That's kind of his whole persona. So we'll see how loud he gets with his match against Jason Nolf. I mean, listen, as far as the wrestling goes, though, not, taking everything outside of it, outside of the Penn State drama, as far as the wrestling goes, I think Nolf's just going to tear him up. I, Jenkins hasn't been in wrestling, similar to how we saw Askren and Jordan Burroughs that match at Beat the Streets last year. You know, Askren's kind of been out of the main wrestling circuit, although he still has his wrestling club, although he's still wrestling in the room. You know, he's not training like Jordan Burroughs. And I think we're going to see a lot of that continue uh, to look similar with the Nolf and Jenkins match as, as far as this is going down on October 20th. So if you're looking forward to that, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you're looking forward to joining the Fanco Wrestling as a channel member, you can go ahead and sign up at one of these links. The first 40 people to sign up will actually get one of these really cool limited edition Fanco Wrestling mustaches. So I appreciate any of your support however you can.